I grew dreadlocks because back in secondary school, I went to St. Bonds, right? And there was this thing about Bonds where they didn't allow black guys to have any other hairstyle besides low. So I um, decided to just grow them, sort of like a rebellious sort of thing. It's very rare to see black people in positions of high power with long natural hair. Um, especially men, it's very rare to see black men with dreads in parliament, in the banks. So I feel like my my role in or my job gives me the opportunity to kind of showcase my culture without it having any negative reflection on my capabilities. So I have been growing my hair in locks now for about a year and a half. It started when I was 25 because of the statements that I was hearing around me, um, especially from, you know, black girls my age. And they would tell me that they didn't like their natural hair and they'd tell me that relaxing it was easier or having a weave was easier. Even some people spoke about, like, you know, if they have their natural hair, they won't be able to get a guy. And, you know, when I started styling, a lot of the people that I style are black artists and I realised the influence that artists have. And so I knew it was important for me to dress people out of their stereotypes, you know, and, and, and frame them in different contexts. With hair like this, there are expectations and there are stereotypical viewpoints of what you're going to be like, you know, like, I can't tell you the amount of times I've been asked for Rizzlers or, or drugs in the street. And it's because of the way I look. So for me, to have this hair and to strive to do the things that I do on a daily basis and to shatter all of those stereotypes is, is, is quite a... It's quite a motivation. A regular wash is about all that is required, which is uh, one of the great beauties of it. You need a lot of shampoo to wash hair like this. <laughs> when you're staying in hotels and you get them little sachets, it's not really cutting it. <laughs> I'm a control freak, so everyone uses something a bit different. I use beeswax. If I wanted to wash my hair and redo it and make it neat, it would take up to five hours because it takes a lot longer for water to actually get into it. So a lot of the time you'll be washing it, it might take about an hour to wash your hair for it to get fully wet, soaked and then rinsed out. I would individually twine each dread so that lasts for a couple of weeks and then you go for a couple of weeks of it looking a bit messy and then you'll do it again because ain't nobody got time to be washing your hair more than once a month. I think the movement is growing and I think it's a really, really positive movement. And I think it's hard for people who aren't part of our culture to maybe understand because I get on the flip side it can be, it's just hair. But if all of your life you've been told that your hair needs to be relaxed or needs to be cut or you can't wear it big to your school, then taking a pride in your hair and actually loving it, not just managing it, tolerating it, loving it, you know, like I love my hair. I feel like I have my favourite hair out of everyone on the planet. <laughs> and that's an amazing feeling. <laughs>